Hey everybody, welcome back. Here is our daily bread for today, Tuesday, April 23rd. It says in John 16, 33, I have told you these things so that in me you have made peace. On December 30th of 1862, the U.S. Civil War raged. Union and Confederate troops camped 700 yards apart on opposing sides of the Tennessee's Stones River. As they warmed themselves around campfires, Union soldiers picked up their fiddles and harmonicas and began playing Yankee Doodle. In reply, the Confederate soldiers offered Dixie. Remarkably, both sides joined in for a finale playing Home Sweet Home in unison. Sworn enemies shared music in the dark night glimmers of an unimagined peace. The melodic truce was short-lived, however. The next morning, they put down their fiddles and picked up their rifles, and 24,645 soldiers died. Our human efforts to create peace inevitably wear thin. Hostilities cease in one place, only to ignite somewhere else. One relational dispute finds harmony, only to be embroiled in distress again months later. The scripture tells us that God is our only trustworthy peacemaker. Jesus said it in plainly. In me you have peace. You, we have peace in Jesus. We, while we participate in his peacemaking missions, it's God's reconciliation and renewal that make real peace possible. So Christ tells us we can't escape conflict in the world. We will have trouble, Jesus says. Strife abounds, but take heart, he adds. I will overcome the world in verse 33. While our efforts often prove futile, our loving God makes peace in this fractious world. So today, reflect and pray on this, my friends. Where do you see humans working for peace, and how is God's peacemaking different? Dear God, please show me the way of peace. And here's some insights to leave you with today. Preparing his disciples for his arrest and death, Jesus warned that they too would face difficult times and persecution in John 15, 20 and 16, 2. Christ comforted his distraught disciples with the provision of heaven, the promise of a Holy Spirit, and his abiding presence in peace. And Jesus offered them and us the much-needed gift of peace. I am leaving you with the gift, peace of mind and heart, and the peace I give is a gift the world cannot give. So don't be troubled or afraid. Living in a world broken by sin and devastated by pain and suffering, we have God's promised peace. You will keep in perfect peace those who are, whose minds are uh, steadfast because they trust in you. Trust in the Lord forever, for your Lord, the Lord himself, is the rock eternal in Isaiah 26, 3-4. through four. I love each and every one of you. God bless each and every one of you. Have a safe and sober Tuesday. We'll see you around.